Hello everyone, it's Anahata, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the channel of assisting frequencies known as the Anahata Codes, the law. Hello everyone, it's Anahata, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the channel of assisting frequencies known as the Anahata Codes, the law of attraction of energy medicine. And my mission in this lifetime is to support you in taking full ownership of your entire energy signature in order to live a fulfilled life while simultaneously delivering meaningful contribution to the world. Now, when you have a vision and you deliver that vision to the world, you are fulfilling your purpose as a creator. And so simultaneously, if you don't know what you're here for, or you're not feeling fulfilled, or life just isn't turning out the way you thought it would, you can feel deep discord between where you know you should be with your soul purpose and where you currently are. And so happiness is a good indicator as to if you are living your soul purpose. Are you fulfilled? This is why some people who have a lot of money are miserable because it's not the money that makes you happy, right? It is your connection to your soul self, which is divinity and expressing that in authentic ways, which is going to make you fulfilled or feel unfulfilled. And so as we explore happiness and success and what it means to be truly happy, we see that we are the most fulfilled in our life when we have challenges, but we have skills to match those challenges. So success and happiness, optimal experience in the world, getting into a place of flow is where you're challenged, but you also have the skills. So where challenge meets your skills. And so you can see it's important to tap into the divinity that is you, your soul spark, your essence, what you came here to do and be, and your authentic energy signature. And when we are not fulfilling that, when we are letting our personas get in the way, what people think we should be and do and say, and how the world has shown us we need to behave in order to have a normal life, where we have two and a half kids, a house, a car, a job, etc. We are put into a box of where the world tells us and we have to work 40 hours a week, etc., etc. The persona that we are supposed to adopt, we can at some point in our life have a sort of midlife crisis where we go, is this really me? Is this who I want to be in the world? Am I? truly living my purpose. Now don't confuse purpose with motivation, right? Purpose gets you to the gate. It is your desire and your ability to deliver that potent purpose that ends up being your journey. And so I did put together a 70 minute exploration, which dove into three hacks for joy and genius. And you can actually go to that replay now if you have 70 minutes at www.forjoyandgenius.com. In that presentation, I will explore and explain to you three truths which have arisen in my quest for delivering meaningful and powerful ways for you to authentically come into 
your entire energy signature and embrace it and deliver your potent purpose to the world. And those three hacks, we're not gonna go into detail with each one, just briefly. You've got to control where your mind goes. That is hack number one, okay? We get what we think about, what we think about becomes our emotions. Those emotions dictate our actions, the way we go through the world, feel what we experience. And those actions become our personalities, become our personal realities. And so we get what we think. And so it behooves us to think about what we want to think about easier said than done. We do have three brains. We have the conscious mind, which is only 5% of the day to day and the subconscious, our automation, our defaults running on the background. And it can get very complicated very quickly. Of course, there is the super conscious, which is our third brain. That is our connection to divinity, our soul spark, the all that is. Wow, those birds are really having fun in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. So that's step one, control where your mind goes. Step two is to begin to derive joy in the mundane. So we cannot afford to perceive of our moment by moment as obligation, stress, um, worry, you know, if we're projecting into the future with anxiety or we're pulling from the past, um, we aren't centered. We won't be living in the now moment. And so we really need to be mindful as to where our focus is going, but then to derive joy in the now moment. And you can do that by injecting challenge into the mundane. How efficient can you be with a task? What can you up level into? And you can divide this into 25 minute chunks, however you want to do it, or just task by task. You know, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to see how efficient I can be with such and such. You're going to find as you engage with yourself in the mundane, you truly begin to enjoy the task at hand, regardless of if it was something that usually you would not be enjoying. After all, it's the moment to moment string of what we are doing, which culminates into our life. So if we aren't happy in the now to now moments, it's very rare that that destination will ever appear. So that's hack number two, derive joy in the mundane through challenges. And the final hack is to flip the resistance. Let me explain this one. When you encounter things that aren't going your way or obstacles, we've got to learn to stop making them wrong and to view them as the teaching moments that they are. So flipping the resistance the polarity by simultaneously looking for the learning moment in it. And here's the key, assigning a new meaning to what is happening, assigning a new meaning that aligns with where you're headed. Okay. Now these three hacks for joy and genius, they are a starting point. They are the conscious awareness, that you need in order to begin to take the steps forward into new thought patterns that gel and that become your default patterns. And because of that, I realize, and through uh, Napoleon Hill's work with um, what it means to have persistence in achieving your goals, it has become clear that I, as a Sherpa, needs to offer a step-by-step -step process for you to gel all of this information into your normalcy, into your everyday. Really create that space for you to 
put your money where your mouth is, right? Not just think about these concepts, but actually start doing them and not just do them, start automating them and not just automate them, put them on default and, and really integrate the aspects of this beautiful wisdom. So, in fact, I think it might have been Neville Goddard. There's several authors coming in um, to assist on this path. I'm going to be blending quantum physics with Anahata codes, with um, flow principles and states, with information that Neville Goddard and Napoleon Hill and others who are rising in response to my asking that are contributing to this clarity of focus and vision so that I can deliver my promise to you, which is to help you into your fullness through connecting with your super conscious mind by aligning in the center point of your conscious mind and upgrading and rewiring any default settings which are preventing you from experiencing the life you desire. So in that spirit of flow and harmony and progression and expansion past fear and into new ways of being on this beautiful 1111 portal day that we have right now in fact if you could see the screen uh, we as i was saying that the timestamp on the video was 1111 awesome we are going to go on a seven day journey and I really want to help you with the habit of persistence and to really, again, gel and, and think, do, be. Think, do, be. Think, do, be. And of course, this is only a seven day period. But if you can really embody the lessons that I'm going to give you over these seven days, you will transform your life through this new magnetism and understanding, which you will come into contact with through integrating this wisdom, remapping the programs, and boldly moving forward into your soul essence. So what I'd like to do is invite you to my Facebook page, which is groups forward slash assisting frequencies, request to join, and Prepare a sacred space for this journey. It will be seven days long. I'll let you know when we're starting in the, in the um, group. And it's going to be five-minute audios every day. Just five-minute audios where you can choose a time and click and play and click and play and click and play. Could be in the morning when you're getting ready. Could be the last thing you're doing at night. Could be while you're getting the kids' lunches put together. Could be while you're commuting home from your job. However it flows into your life, you, you will click and play my YouTube video, Du Jour, for seven consecutive days. All right, so um, it's gonna be an accelerator and it's going to allow you to frame things which is why I'm calling them daily framers in a way that truly allows you to understand the information in deeper and deeper ways compounded over time. So join me and I will also in this video description put a link to my messenger bot. This is an automated opt-in messenger broadcast so that you will get a daily reminder if that is helpful for you. I know certain habits, uh, when we first start doing them, take a while or you'll forget. And I, and I want this to be very clear, easy, straightforward, and meaningful for you all. That is all I wanted to share with you today, this beautiful 1111, that we are gonna go on a seven day for joy and genius accelerated journey into tapping into your potent purpose through understanding the resistance that's coming through, being present in the now and starting to view the world as small challenges and opportunities for leveling up. And by integrating the minds that you have, the three, your 
subconscious, conscious, and super conscious. And I'm so excited for what's going to occur. God bless you on your path. Thank you so much for being with me. Here we go. You can do anything and it is my honor to help you remember. Namaste. God bless you.